Mourning the murder of their daughter as prosecutors charge her ex-husband with the crime, saying he shot her when she went to pick up their kids. When she wants her kids. That's the way she was raised, family first. 41 Action News reporter Andres Gutierrez is live at police headquarters after speaking with their family today. Andres, how, heart, how heartbreaking. Yeah, Rhiannon, the charges were filed this afternoon shortly after police spoke with the family. We're learning the husband who's now, ex-husband, who's now uh, charged with second degree murder, tried to stage the crime scene, but surveillance cameras showed the truth. Every parent do not want that car, especially when you have girls. Sterling Randolph is grieving the death of his second oldest daughter, Tamara. Prosecutors say the 36-year-old woman's ex-husband, John Frazier, shot and killed her Wednesday afternoon. She wanted to see her kids. She hadn't been able to see her kids. And that was part of the problem. According to court documents, Tamara Randolph and Frazier filed for divorce two years ago. They agreed to share custody of their two sons, but in late May, Frazier stopped the boys from seeing their mother. She went to police but was told there wasn't much they could do given the custody agreement. Those are the boys. The other children are, are teenagers, and these boys were the young ones. Everywhere Tamara went, those boys went. Prosecutors say Randolph showed up to Frazier's house at 37th and Woodland to try and get the boys so she could get them ready for the start of the school year. However, surveillance cameras captured the ex-husband walking up to her with a gun in his right hand. At the time, the mother was on the phone with a relative who heard the tragedy unfold. She was a very uh, giving person, very warm. Very big car. Randolph, a Southeast High grad, was working two jobs to provide for her young family. Her parents now advise others who may be in a similar situation to get. Poor custody, that's what they should try to get. Because a lot of times the other parent is not going to follow the, 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 the divorce decree. And now Frazier is sitting at the Jackson County Jail. His cash-only bond is set at $250,000. Reporting live in downtown Kansas City, Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News. Andres